a physical barrier method for preventing unwanted pregnancies, right? Now, uh, once we talk about the diaphragm here, it is you can see here it's a cap-like structure, right? And uh, you can hold that cap, and it's very flexible, and you need to just take it and put it onto uh, onto you know the cervical opening, and it will close the cervical opening just like a hat, right? Just like a cap, it will it will block all the cervical opening and preventing the sperm from entering into the uterus right so that's the function of a diaphragm here comes the sperm from this time and it will be blocked by this diaphragm here and once you apply the diaphragm inside the diaphragm you add some spermicide so even if sometimes if the diaphragm fall, fails it's extremely rare but if the diaphragm fails in that case also those spermicides will kill the sperm there right so these are the things that people can use. But the problem, the major problem associated with these things is that sometimes, uh, sometimes women think uh, certain problems associated with this diaphragm or they have certain problems physically and uh, they don't know what is going on inside or some problem inside. That's, that's the problem that can occur but rest of the things are very, very clear. Right? So the diaphragm here, the effectiveness perfectly is 94%. And the typical effectiveness rate is 80%. So it's not very good, right? It's not good. So latex barrier placed inside the vaginal during intercourse and fitted by the physician, right? So that's that's the problem. You know, you need to fit it by the physician, or you can fit it yourself, but you need to learn it very well. Otherwise, the effectiveness rate will go down. Now, spermicidal jelly, you need to place it before uh, placing it there and it is inserted up to 18 hours before intercourse and can be left in for a total of 24 hours right the diaphragm is a flexible rubber cap and that is filled with spermicide and self inserted over the cervix prior to the intercourse the device is left in the place you know and and after you know 24 hours once you take it out right that can be washed and can be reused in the future right and uh, and it can be fitted by the healthcare professional and it is more expensive than other barrier methods such as condoms that's why in previous times uh, after developing condoms people use diaphragm much but nowadays after developing condoms and people generally do not rely on that if you don't want to take any hormonal pills or medications if you only want to go with physical barrier methods i will recommend you to go for male condom along with spermicide in that way it will give you 99% of effectiveness if you wear condoms correctly right so go back and watch different uh, demonstration videos in YouTube and other sites you can get it from medical sites and sources it will be extremely helpful for you to do that otherwise if you need to take a pill you can take a oral contraceptive pill in that way it is 99% assured but if you take oral contraceptive pill along with that you should take condom because that's the only way to prevent you know sexually transmitted disease because pills will only help you to go against you know unwanted pregnancy but it won't help you to go against STDs 